De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y ahora we're going to switch back to English again because we have James Bell from uh, General Motors and uh, how are you James? I hope you had a good holiday season because uh, you're busy working already. Yeah, yeah, well for me the holidays are very important because uh, as soon as, as you know, in this business, as soon as we, we uh, finish Christmas and New Year's, it's time for uh, car shows. But let's be honest, uh, going to car shows is kind of fun also. No, absolutely. But uh, this uh, first week of uh, work here in 2014, it wasn't a car show alone. It's a CES, a Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, which... Uh, uh, it's been uh, that the presence of the car manufacturers has been growing year after year because there's obviously a lot of technology in the car. So GM had a big presence there this week, right? Yeah, you know, you're right. It wasn't a car show, but it, it feels like a little bit because there's so many cars uh, here at the show and, and you know, the, the kind of mixing and convergence of uh, the automotive industry and the electronics industry, it's, it's, not, it's not something that's coming. It's something that's here. And uh, so you're right, General Motors was very happy to have uh, really kind of three pretty big announcements that I think um, the fact that people have just kind of nodded their head and said, yep, that makes sense. And in the case of uh, an announcement we made in regards to the Corvette, uh, it's not just makes sense, but it's a lot of fun. It shows you just how much uh, these two um, these two industries have really come together. And, and, and of course, the winner is going to be consumers when they can have uh, cars that are updatable, upgradable, and uh, give them the same enjoyment uh, as far as infotainment uh, as they find with their uh, their tablets or their phones. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing how things have uh, integrated. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the Corvette um, announcement. Uh, this is something pretty cool that uh, we as journalists have experienced in a, in a small, in, in a different way, I guess, in not like the perfect way, because it's basically a camera that uh, records your uh, performance in a track and all that and give you a lot of information. But when we do it, when we have done it in different events, I mean, there's like a lot of wires and things that don't really look like part of the car. This system is part of the car, right? The performance data recorder. Yes, that's right. Well, it, it was kind of fun, actually, when the Corvette was first introduced last year, uh, some journalists did note that above the uh, rear view mirror on the inside of the windshield, there was a little uh, blacked out space, and, uh, but nobody really asked questions of what it was going to be there. What was the opportunity? Well, now here we are about uh, you know, seven, eight months later, and the performance data recorder has been announced. And this is something we went into partnership uh, with, um, uh, with a couple different companies, Cosworth, you know, who does obviously a lot of racing technology and analysis, as well as um, uh, some video camera companies. And, and you're right, this is going to be a small camera that's mounted right up by the rear mirror where it attaches to the windshield. And, and as you drive, you, you set it up before you take off, obviously. And as you drive, it will record in high definition um, your drive. It will also capture braking, throttle position, steering position, um, gears uh, selected. It, it's almost like driving a video game in real life. And, of course, it's being recorded as you're driving, so you pay attention to the road. You don't have to worry about uh, pushing any buttons or, or uh, as you say, mounting cameras that might be uh, not pointed the right direction or, or have wires that get in the way. It's all integrated right into the car. It gives you great information. Not only is it fun to see and fun to share with your friends and uh, show off to your friends, but it's also a great tool for analyzing your driving style. So if you are at a, you know, a chance to take your Corvette to a racetrack and you can do several laps, you can really am use this service to really analyze your driving, find a way to, uh, you know, maybe if you come into a corner, and uh, break a little bit later and get on the gas a little sooner. Um, these are the kind of uh, the kind of information you're going to get from the performance data recorder. So it's it's like having kind of an instructor in the car, right? I mean, it's going to give you like all the information about what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that you know that obviously if you do go to uh, any sort of driving school, um, that is an integral part of uh, of those of that education. And you know, of course, this would be something that would be mounted. Uh, by the driving school, but now here it is for about fifteen hundred dollar option. Uh, it's something that can be mounted in your car, and uh, and we think you know now it's an industry first here in the Corvette, but uh, we think it's going to be something you're going to see catch on not just for performance cars, but uh, for a lot of people. I mean, it's just something to give a, a degree of comfort and security uh, to have that recording going on and be able to you know if if anything happens, you've got a record of it. But 
and also just to, uh, again, it's a lot of fun. And it, of course, like I say, it brings a live video game, a real life video game uh, feeling to, to your drive. Yeah, and also is, this is connected to GPS, right? So if we view, when you go to the, the racetrack, uh, it records exactly the track uh, at its own, but it can also work outside a track following the GPS, let's say like, uh, obviously you're not going to speed on your commute to, from uh, home right. to work, but it must give you information about that trip too, uh, linked to GPS? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, with an 8 gigabyte card, you can record uh, 200 minutes, uh, and a 32-bit card, it goes up to 800 minutes, so 13 hours of driving. So yes, you can use it um, in many different circumstances. I mean, let's be honest, sometimes for driving, using it for a, a commute home might be kind of boring, But if there's maybe something that uh, you want to show somebody, it just it's a much safer way of kind of uh, capturing your driving experience. And, uh, and and more importantly, if you buy the new uh, Corvette Stingray, you can uh, rest assured that you're the only person on the road that has such a system built in. No, absolutely. And also, I think, I mean, like, uh, I'm sure you've seen those... Uh compilation of Russian traffic uh, videos yeah. and I believe in Russia it's uh, by law that they have to have these kind of cameras uh, for the insurance as evidence of accidents and uh, who knows what are you going to capture in that? Well I know and that's what I'm saying I think that it's uh, you know because obviously video cameras uh, and this technology is the price has come down so quickly I mean you think about um, you know it's a similar kind of camera just in a much lower resolution that you see in a backup camera. So, you know, the technology is not all that expensive, and I do believe, as you're saying, it's something that we'll see in more and more vehicles going forward. It might, you know, who knows, maybe 10 years from now, it'll be also mandated in this country for insurance reasons, because it, it does capture some very interesting things in Russia, doesn't it? No, absolutely, and like, there's like no, no harder evidence that video. I mean, this is what happened, it's not anymore your word against my word, so I think it's pretty cool, and uh, obviously it's going to evolve into something else, and with all these uh, technologies and connectivity. And speaking of that, the other announcement from uh, GM at Vegas was about techno uh, connectivity in the car, right? Yes, that's right. We announced a partnership with uh, AT&T in regards to having 4G LTE available as a, as a hotspot, if you will, within the car. Um, it's going to be, it's, it's really going to give uh, a new level of connectivity and, and, and comfort. I mean, we are already, as uh, consumers of data, so used to, uh, you know, arriving at a hotel room or a restaurant or a library and, and finding the Wi-Fi. Well, now that Wi-Fi is going to be within, uh, well, starting with Chevrolet vehicles, but eventually going across all of GM's vehicles. Um, it's, you know, your car is now going to be the Wi-Fi. Uh, you can attach, I think it's up to seven or eight different um, devices to the system. And there, there's some question, well, why does, why does my car need Wi-Fi? I can already have uh, services. I'm, you know, just taking it off the air with my phone or my tablet. And this is true, but you can also manage how people are, are what they're doing with uh, their devices much better if you have the Wi-Fi service resident in the vehicle. And I think of like with children, You could give them, uh, you know, uh, an iPad or something to play with in the back seat, but they could go online and you're not sure what they're looking at. And if you're concerned about what they're looking at, then you now have a driver distraction and that can get a little bit dangerous. But this new service can actually monitor and, and allow you to select what sort of um, access you'll have to the Internet and just give uh, parents a lot more peace of mind because so many are using tablets. To, uh, to allow their children to have a, you know, a safer, more uh, enjoyable drive. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a partnership with AT&T, you said, to begin with, I guess. And then, like, uh, so you're going to have to, to... Can you share from your uh, uh, own account already with AT&T? How is that going to work? Yeah, if you don't have an AT&T account, then um, it will be something you'll, you'll enter into a new agreement, a business agreement with AT&T. And it'll just be like the kind of, uh, you know, on your phone, the data plan you'll set up. Uh, this is how much I expect to use. This is the rate that I want it to come into the car, the speeds and so forth. So you'll, you'll set it up along those lines. If you have AT&T as your current provider, uh, it was just announced here at the, at the CES show that, that there will be the ability to kind of pair this car service up with your existing family plan or data plan. Uh, that's there's still, uh, it's not available yet, won't be available until the vehicles come out. But uh, yeah, you'll be able to kind of all, you know, all bundle it all into one to make it uh, much more cost effective and easy to manage. Yeah, and as, as, the, as the case with the camera, this is completely integrated in the car, seamless to the driver. I mean, you don't see any, 
like a modem sticking out or anywhere, right? Like it is completely. No, no it's actually it's um, integrated quite closely in with this um, the OnStar circuitry that's already okay. on board every GM vehicle. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's uh, very clean, very easy, and we, you know this isn't a brand new idea. We've already seen this from some very expensive vehicles from Audi. I think uh, the A8 was the first vehicle to have this uh, Wi-Fi or hotspot available. But now you're talking about a you know a hundred and twenty or hundred thirty thousand dollar car. I think what's exciting about this announcement is that it's starting with uh, the Chevrolet brand, which is of course our most affordable brand. And uh, it's going to be in everything from, you know, the Stingray that we talked about through all the pickup trucks, the Silverados, and uh, even all the way to the Chevrolet Spark, the, one of the least expensive vehicles in the U.S. market. All of the uh, cars are going to have this as an available option. So it allows, um, you know, very quickly, uh, you know, maybe uh, if you're buying a car for uh, your child to go to college with, um, you know, given the fact that the younger generation loves to be connected yeah. all the time, but you can buy the Chevrolet with Wi-Fi, and that kid's going to be the most popular kid in campus. Yeah, he said, okay. Well, thank you very much, James Bell uh, from General Motors, talking about all the, the announcements that were made on uh, CES in Las Vegas. So thank you very much, James, and uh, we'll see you in Detroit and Chicago and New York and somewhere else uh, around uh, around this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a pleasure. Bye.